because I've got six. It's a big number. <laughs> Truly, my happiness comes more from my kids, and seeing them happy. Okay. You know, that's for me really important. Yeah. At the moment, even though I have seven children, I'm being neglected by my children. Hi, Kevin here, and welcome back to Resident Streets. On this episode, we're going to explore an interesting topic. As so often, we hear of the divide between the rich and the poor. Uh, we hear stereotypes, read headlines, and form a perception of how the rich and the poor think, feel, and act. But are these perceptions really accurate? To find out, we are here at one of the richest estates in Singapore, Nassim Road, to knock on doors and ask questions about mental health, happiness, and money. After that, we headed to one room flats to ask the same questions. How different or similar would the answers be? Let's find out. Okay, so yeah, I can see there's a huge driveway <laughs> all the way up to the house. So we're gonna go in and see if we can find anybody. It's all open over there. Let's see. Hello. We're going to do a short interview. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Hello. Hello. Okay. Please, 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 please. No, no. Like an interview. Staff, is it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then it's okay, lah. Okay. Hey, thank you. I don't think anyone's at home. Yeah. Now I can go inside. Yes. 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 Hello, Alright, so we're about to reach my mutual friend's house. Uh, it's a really big house. It's like worth about 20 to 30 million. I'm glad that she gave us a chance to interview her. Look at the cute doggos. We just we just chill here and wait for her. So we are here with Pearl. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> welcome to my humble home. Hey, hello. We are actually doing a short uh, interview. I'm should, blind. Should. What you want? Oh, okay. Uh, I, I, can. I don't feel much. No. Yeah. Oh, I see. I'm 86 years old. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Right? Oh, yeah. he's here. Is it? Hello. This yeah. is this is really. Hi. Yeah, so the first question is like, what do you do for a living? I'm a product manager. Um, I do have like certain like projects that I'm coming up with, which is like related to uh, blockchain. Yeah, because uh, right now if you look at all the social media advertisement, mm -hmm. it's all about like NFTs, yeah. like metaverse and stuff like that. I depend on my children to okay. support me. La. Sure. One month I don't know how much they put in, they even tell me. Okay. So when I had money inside the bank, uh, sometimes I buy a 40 number. <laughs> sometimes I strike. Well, I was actually um, doing like cakes and baking and stuff but it wasn't a professional business a home-based business and I also just moved back from Sydney maybe about two years ago just pre-COVID and when I came back to Singapore I went through a divorce so I did not um, work so I was basically a homemaker oh, I was doing a sankong okay. uh, I'm a fund manager okay. my entire career sankong a scale of 1 to 10, how satisfied are you? I think I would be like 8 maybe, you know, because there are a few things that I still want to do in life. And, you know, and the, truly my happiness comes more from my kids, and seeing them happy. Okay. You know. At the moment, even though I have 7 children, I'm being neglected by my children. I cannot complain to anybody. Okay, understand. If you want to know, Satisfaction, there is no satisfaction. I think right now it will be six. I think there are still rooms for me to improve on. Yeah, okay. and I'm open to uh, new opportunities. Yes, yes. Okay, why you you're No. Okay. I would say nine. Nine because you know, I uh, was born and raised in a small town in Malaysia. Seriously, to be where I am today, I have to say that uh, 
，I can't be unhappy。你对钱的看法是什么？没有钱，没有没有的话咯，是这样的。嗯。Money to me is a medium for me to break away、um, cycles of poverty because、uh, I don't really come from、uh, a rich background. So、um, in whole entire life, ever since young, I've always been like trying to earn、uh, multiple streams of income. Having multiple streams of like、uh, passive income to me is very very important. To me, in my English, money is the root of evil. Because of money, people do things bad. Can I pay for food? Pay the phone bill. Pay the card. Okay. Money becomes the thing of your pursuit when you have none of it. But when you have enough, I think it would be a mistake to still relentlessly want to make more, for such pursuit has no end. The Chinese has an axiom: when the one in front of all the zeros drop, the many zeros would be worthless. Um. Okay. This this question is saying, if other people look at you as being poor, do you have any feeling? Poor? 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 I do have some reservations because、um, people these days they do have a lot of misconceptions.、Okay. It's like、um, doesn't mean people they are well off. They don't have like、um, financial difficulties.、Okay. There are times whereby I do like went into like bad investments. There are people you know sometimes that they perceive you know need to be a certain way or something. And I, I try my best. I mean I'm, I I know that I'm blessed and I'm always trying to give. You know, You know, but sometimes I get taken advantage of, I guess, in that way because I never know when to say no.、Mm. You know? I think you've probably gone through a fair share of struggles in getting to where you are. Could I ask to share maybe one or two of the strongest struggles? For somebody、uh, who comes from a very humble、uh, family、uh, background, raised in a small town in Malaysia, the biggest challenge I faced was to. To break free、uh, from the clutches of poverty. Been struggling in life too many of them. Okay. Now my mother, you see the photo there, first photo. This one is it. <coughs> I'm in the middle there. Okay. My mother, my two sisters. I see. All Paris of them. Okay. You know Paris? They don't go to Paris, you know. Paris underground.、Mm. So I'm alone surviving. But sometimes I think of my mother. I regret for not looking after her. It would be at the age of sixteen when my dad suddenly came home to us to say that like、um, they are he's not able to provide for the family anymore. And then after a few days later, my mom came into the room and tell me that hey, you should give up your studies. And back then I was still like sitting through like my O levels. I was. Very confused, and I feel a bit unfair. Like, why should I be the one giving up my studies? Being unsure about where I am in life, see the kids go through that struggle. I think that for me, and overcoming that, I mean, I am bad in a much better place right now. The divorce is over. You know, I've, I've, everything is settled. The kids are, you know, doing well in school. I'm doing better in life. So, you know, but it's going to take a while. How do you overcome your struggles? Okay. Take life one at a time. Okay. I have a few girlfriends, you know. Don't think I'm old man. I don't have girlfriends. I do have girlfriends,、sure. but friends only. Nothing、okay. to do with sex. Yes.、Okay. When my parents came to me to say that, hey, why, why should you be studying? At the end of the day, you will get、uh, married off, and then someone will provide for you.、Okay. But when I see how my parents struggled in the earlier days, it makes me feel like, how am I able to rely on a guy? Yeah. So、uh, that actually. Kind of like pushes me really hard in life. I'm always on the lookout for like like streams of income. Is there any message you want to share to other people? Well, I want them to work hard, study. Right, study is more important. Whether you're in a primary, secondary, or whether you're in a university, education is very important. I would、uh, strongly urge that they receive. A good education, because a good education is a passport to to many things in life. So if you are struggling, don't give up, and constantly、uh, look for ways, look for people that、uh, is able to help you. Don't be close-minded about like opportunities, 
and then for those people who are successful, please remain humble. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't yeah. relate though. <laughs> yeah. I can't relate. Yeah, but it's like um, have to be humble la, and constantly be helping those that um, require help. Honestly, whatever life brings, just hang in there. And people always look like, you know, on Instagram and Facebook, everyone's all happy and, you know, it's always just a charade, you know, sometimes. But the truth is, you never know what anyone's going through behind you behind the scenes so just be kind to one another and when you're going through a struggle like never you know not seek help you know ask for help you know, there's always going to be someone who's kind enough to help you okay. always yeah sure Thank you so much, Paul. I do have something for your kids, actually. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. You are always coming with treats. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, because, you know, I know how much you appreciate your kids. Yes. I love them so much. Oh, my goodness. Thank journals, you. Journals. So, very okay. cool. Thank you so much. This one is just some packet noodle. This is for you also. Yes. Ang Pao. Okay. Oh, thank some you. more sum inside. from whom? From me. From you personally, yeah, personally from you. Who, you, whoever you pray to, sure. will give you blessing Thank you. for giving something. No, 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 we, no, uncle, we have a lot, don't worry, this is Happy New Year to you. Small, listen, small one only. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed filming it. We do have some interesting videos and viewer giveaways coming up. So do subscribe, share, like, you help us to bring you more in future. Stay resilient and we'll see you on the next episode. Bye!